what's going on guys today we're working on 2016 Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro so what we're going to be doing today is installing a set of drawers from Dobinson's four-wheel drive they're an Australian company um, make really really good stuff have an outstanding reputation they make anything from suspension parts uh, drawer systems tents awnings racks all that kind of stuff anything to get you out there get started on your adventure so today drawers are going in the back um, going to really help the customer keep everything organized. On the driver's side of the vehicle there is going to be a fridge slide so the top of the drawer system will slide and be pretty cool. Check it out. Alright guys, now we have the drawers out of the box, most of the trash thrown away, now the real work starts. What we got to do is take apart pretty much the entire drawer system, so that way we have access to the mounting rails and we can properly mount them in the vehicle. In order to do that, we do need to re remove the spare tire from underneath the vehicle and then also take out all the carpet, um, carpet and all the side panels so that way we can see the metal on the floor of the vehicle, make sure all the holes are in the right place. All the carpet will get reinstalled before we reinstall the, before we fully install the drawers uh, for a nice clean look, but it does need to be taken out so that way uh, when you drill the holes in the floor, they go in the right place. Let's get some carpet out. Boy, these non-marring pry tools. These things are pretty awesome. They work really good for popping the old rivet. Uh, plastic rivets off your trim pieces. Now there's just like a little hook. So we do got to take this part out. There's a little section here. I don't know if you can see that on camera. Got those guys out. This comes out. Then we can take all the carpet and the insulation out. Alright, so now that we got the carpet out of the way and all the insulation out of the way, now we can drop that spare tire out of here from underneath and then get the drawers set up on here, get some holes marked, start drilling. Carpet out, insulation is gone, spare tires away. Now we can see where the ribs are, where there's extra metal, see where. So what we're going to be doing is building up where we mount the rails to, to about here. So that way the wing kits all match up. Alright, so now it's time to get this drawer system all disassembled, get the tops off, drawers out, and then get it in the vehicle, start test fitting some things.
So that's the drawer system unassembled or disassembled, whatever that term is. Um, just steel skeleton, really nice drawer system, nice ball bearings. Um, highly recommend. So these are the mounting rails. This is what we're going to get lined up. Make sure it's not on any ribs. It's a good install location. Get the spacers right. Get it in the vehicle. So on the bottom of the drawer, there's metal rails and it will scratch your paint if you're sliding the drawers in by yourself. So what I do is save some of the cardboard from the box and then put that on the floor of the vehicle so that way when we put the drawers in it doesn't damage the vehicle. I like to take one piece put it over the tailgate here so that way the bumper is not going to get damaged in any way. So as you can see, you got the drawer slid in, cardboard protector, didn't damage any of the paint. So as you can see, there's that back rib right here that this we want to think we're gonna want to move this forward a little bit. It's sitting about where we want it. Because we do want to make sure that you know the cover piece is gonna go here. That's going to cover that. Carpet will get reinstalled. So now what we need to do is shim it up so that way the wing kit is going to go over this. So now what we're going to do is open up the wing kits and so that way we can play with everything, get it lined up, get everything just right. So these are the tops. Of the wing kits. I don't know which side this goes on. I believe that might go like that. Yeah, so these small ones are going to be your tailgate side. Those are going to sit just about like that. Makes it nice you still have access to the sides. And then these longer ones are what's going to fit. And maybe we've got a, like that on the vehicle. So, looks like it's going to be a really clean install. Alright, so now we'll open up the actual brackets. So these are the brackets that are going to mount to the side of the box, kind of like that. And then the top piece is going on top like that. And spacers. are going to be our front pieces. Alright, so after playing with the side wings, looking at the drawer system, it looks like we need to come up about an inch and a half to two inches. So what we're going to do is use a 2 by 4 that's what the manufacturer recommends, uh, beneath that back rail. And so we'll put that under there, use this as a spacer, and then once we get it all spaced out properly, then we'll go ahead and drill our holes um, through the 2 by 4 through the metal, and be good to go. 
All right, so I got our wing brackets here. There are two different ones. You can see there's holes offset. Make sure you get the right one on the right side. It's not going to go in if it's not the right one. So this side, passenger side, gets offset with the offset towards the rear. That's disappointing. Looks like we need to add another 2x4 in order to get this to fit. Darn it. Alright, so we got another spacer. Add this in there and see how it looks. Looking like the back's going to clear. Now I just need to raise the front up a little bit. These drawers are definitely going to clear. That's not going to be a problem. And let's double check our wings. if you get the right one. Well, it looks like it's, you can get it just to barely clear. All right, guys, so now we got this somewhat kind of where we want it. Now let's get these wing kits in, make sure everything fits, good to go. Alright, so that's essentially, it's just bolted in loosely right now, that is how it is going to go. So you can still stick your hand back here and access things, which is kind of nice. You do have your 12 volt outlet right there, still be able to access that, and your 12 volt plug, all just nicely hidden now under that. So, I like it. Alright guys, let's talk hardware real quick. So the hardware that comes with this kit isn't going to work. These are the bolts that come to mount the drawers to the floor of the Forerunner. And they're just not long enough. We had to add about 3 inches of spacing uh, in between the floor and the drawers. So we need to get longer bolts. So I ran down to Ace Hardware, grabbed some grade 8 uh, bolts. These are four inches long, three eighths by four inches. Uh, so I think this should be long enough. We'll see. So we got everything loosely put together. We got the side wing kits kind of in. So you'll still be able to take this out, access your jack. Important to your flat tire. Um, so I think that's where she's going to stay. I like it. What I went ahead and did guys was put a drawer in and put a, one side of the tops on so that way I can close, I close the lift gate, made sure that everything still closes and sits flush inside here. So I think it's time to finally start drilling. Alright guys, hard part's over. We got the holes drilled in the floor. So now we get to take everything back out of the rig, reinstall the insulation in the carpet, cut holes for the bolts, and then 
uh, put everything back in and we'll be done. Alright, so we're going to cut along here, along this uh, insulator pad. And then that's going to get us over that hump. And then we'll be able to cut this into pieces, put it in between the, uh, the shims that we added. So what I'm doing, now that I have the insulation and our shim boards in place, I'm putting down some gaffer's tape uh, just to kind of keep the insulation and the boards in place while we're laying down carpet um, and just kind of keep everything together long term. That way nothing's shifting around or rattling, making any sounds. And then these larger boards, the 2x4s, I am going to wrap the face of them and tape so that way they're black and not just wood. Alright, so we got the boards tape down, everything's in place. So now what we're gonna do is we have the bolts in there, in the holes, so that way we can lay the carpet, install the carpet, and then press on the carpet onto the bolts, be able to feel where they are to mark the outside, be able to cut a hole around them, and then be able to put the bolts back through. Well, uninstall the carpet again, pull the bolts out, reinstall the carpet, bolts back in, and we're almost done. All right, never tried this one before. We'll try it. I'm gonna take just a drill bit, find the bolt, and then just hit it with that on the bolt head. It's at least enough to mark it. It's installed. Now we can install that back trim piece. All right, guys, so we got the drawers bolted down with the carpet underneath. So you can see now why we wanted to get those boards black. Uh, they blend into the carpet a lot nicer instead of uh, being raw wood and just kind of standing out. I got that back wing piece bolted on right there and this one on this side. So next we just got to get the middle bracket, front bracket um, on on both sides and then the tops. And then we'll be able to get the tops on the drawers. Drawers in, stoppers on, and we're done. So it's coming together really nice. I'm glad we took the extra time to make it look a lot nicer than, you know, the instructions actually say you don't have to put the carpet back in. I definitely recommend putting the carpet back in. It gives it a lot better finished look than just leaving it wide open uh, with raw metal. So. I'm going to take you around to the other side. You can see how this is coming together with your side of your factory tie down points. So, coming together really nice.
And for those of you wondering, yes, you can still get to your outlet down there. Hard to see, but there it is. Full bolt opens and closes. Everything still works as, as advertised. All right, doors are officially bolted in. I think they came out really nice. Time to get the tops on them, get the drawers in, we're all done. All right, guys, that is a drawer system in a fifth gen Toyota 4Runner TRD Pro. I think it came out really nice. Dalvinsons USA or uh, OverlandersHQ.com have these on our website. Uh, if you guys are looking for install, hit us up. We're in Redding, California at the corner of Cypress and Victor Avenue. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you next time.